welcome to another adventure on this planet Earth. I'm Mark Gilchrist, and this week we're going to Xi'an, China, where we'll visit two incredible sites, each packed with ancient Chinese history. I can't say much for the Chinese federal government, but the local ones seem to be pretty good at giving their residents infrastructure. Uh, beautiful parks in all the cities that I visited and they're all very clean and seem well organized. I spent a few days in the Midwestern city of Xi'an and boy, that's a place I recommend. Xi'an is one of the oldest cities in China and it's at the end of the ancient Silk Road. This city of some 12 million people has some history with evidence of man here 500,000 years ago. There are a lot of things to see there, uh, such as the Muslim food market that is just beautiful. Or a walk in the park and watch people dance all day. Now in 1936, China's leader Chiang Kai-shek came to town. And while there, he was held captive by a few of his generals. And they would not let him go until he organized a truce between the Communist Party and the Nationalist Party, and he got them to work together to focus on the Japanese who were eager to invade China. Two things that are extraordinary are the wall and the terracotta warriors. This wall that goes around the old city was built some 700 years ago and rebuilt three times since then. The wall is now about 40 feet wide and 40 feet tall with a moat and drawbridges and towers and, and a parapet that goes around the whole perimeter of it. During World War II, about a thousand bunkers were built into the wall to protect residents of Xi'an from Japanese bombings. The wall is a park and uh, you have to pay to get in. It costs about eight dollars US. It's a good eight or nine miles around the thing so a lot of people rent bicycles up there. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I was most interested, of course, in taking photos, videos. What I enjoyed a lot was looking out over the wall into the city below. Surrounding a lot of the wall is, is a park. And you can watch people exercising, making music, playing ping pong. Look like a drill team out there having flag practice. And every once in a while you, you find a restaurant with tables along the, the wall. Yeah, all in all, it was a beautiful day just to meander around the wall and watch the antics. It was fun and, and kind of fascinating to think you're walking along something that in one form or another is about 700 years old. So it's a beautiful eight and a half mile walk around the old city on this incredible wall. And I walked it and I, I walked some other paths until I got to 15 miles in one day so I could earn myself the official 2019 John A. McNeil Award. Come on guys, it's in the mail, right? Okay, the second thing you must do if you visit Xi'an, China, and you must visit Xi'an if you visit China, and I recommend visiting China. It's beautiful. The second thing you must do Let's go see the Terracotta Army. I first heard about this when I read Paul Thoreau's 1988 book, Riding the Iron Rooster, which you really should read if you visit China, or even if you don't. It's a great book. Terracotta Army is basically a burial site for China's first emperor. And it's massive, I mean, it covers acres and acres only a few of which have been un unearthed. They, m they estimate that located here are some 8,000 clay soldiers and 900 horses and carts of the armies of Qin Shi Huang. He was China's first emperor. They were made while he was still alive in preparation for his death and buried with him after he died uh, to protect him in the afterlife. Yeah, and this is one of 55 UNESCO World Heritage Sites in China. Millions of people around the world would love to have a free and vigorous media like we have in the United States. The first thing that any person will do to rise to dictatorship is destroy, 
control or otherwise discredit the country's media. For if you want to control and oppress your people, then a fair and free media is your enemy. I hope that Americans can keep our free press alive. It's not easy these days with so many imposters pretending to be journalists and jamming their biased views down our throats. We must be diligent and continuously consider the source. Hello and thanks for hanging for another adventure. I'm Mark Gilchrist. Hello guy, my name is Ning. I stay in Maasai. Thank you so much. Thank you Nin. And I am, and you are, we all are. On this planet Earth. Ha, that was perfect.